So years ago, I, I didn't think that a robotic lung transplant would be feasible. I thought it was going to be too technically complex. And as the field has developed, NYU Langone has been very supportive about building great programs. And so that's how we got all of these leaders in robotic thoracic and robotic cardiac. It was just the perfect environment to do this. We performed the world's first fully robotic double lung transplant. I am feeling absolutely fantastic today. Never imagined I could breathe. You know, the fact that my donor was able to do this or his family, what they have done for me is give me life. We used very small incisions on both sides. And then with a robot, we took the old lung out, prepared the heart and the airway for us to sew in the new lung and then put the new lung in. And we did this on both sides. So it hadn't been done before and, and we did that. So for anybody who is, wants to improve their quality of life with this lung disease, and you know you need a transplant, or even maybe you haven't been referred to a transplant, get the opinion of these doctors, because these doctors made it happen in three months for me. So when you think about robotic transplant in general, overall it just allows for less trauma to the patient, better visualization. We have to standardize the technique. We have to make it something that's easily reproducible, that's teachable. And as we get to that place of having it more efficient, then we can start expanding the patient population to include more and more people. But yes, we're, we're just at the very beginning right now. I'm here because I got a second chance at life, really.